right, what's going on, guys? I got a special guest tonight, Orlando's mixtape king, DJ Junebug. You know what? Junebug, tell me. Basically, let me clear up real quick. It's Orlando mixtape kings with a Z. It's plural, you know why? I ain't cocky like that. I got other DJs with me rocking for Orlando. So get that shit right, get this shit straight. It's Orlando mixtape kings with a Z. It's plural. There's more than one king out here. All right. The, the basis of this interview, like we've done in the past, is to showcase people in Orlando who are doing stuff that you may or may not know because you got to know them. If you're an artist, if you're a producer, if you're a upcoming industry person, whoever you are, if you're trying to do something in the city, I want you to know everybody who is doing something so you can have the opportunity to approach them. If you still don't want to approach them, hey, that's on you. That's your loss. But this band is doing a ton of stuff on the side of town that a lot of you guys don't go to, a lot of you guys overlook. Um, the reason that CSR stepping him is we've seen what he's done. I mean, he built Tight Rack from the ground up with his own team. There was no there was no outside promotion. He didn't hire us. He didn't hire anybody. He has his own team, and he did it himself. You know what I'm saying? And we want to give the man props for it, and we want to let him showcase it. On top of that, he's dropping mixtapes all the time. He's fucked with Joel Ortiz, Pitbull, all these guys, Akon, before they blow up. I mean, I've seen him at House of Blues with Akon. I mean, he's official. Uh, let me let me start by, how does a DJ, I mean, how does an artist get you a, a music that you're actually going to listen to? Like, what would separate one artist from another that you don't know? Let's, let, let's okay, get to, uh, to that question real quick. There's two ways to get me. One, in person, come holler at me. I'm a set up dude. Or email me, call me, whatever. I answer my phone. You know, science kid, answer my phone. First of all, when you give me a CD, give me a CD with a business card, an uh, index. Don't give me a CD with a marker written on it. I don't fuck with CDs like that. I got piles of CDs in my house. When niggas just give me CDs, say I'm the best nigga in town. We have a lot of best niggas in the town. We have a lot of goons in town. Just give me a CD with a business card. If you even you can't have a business card, at least give me a proper CD with all your information so I can contact you back and put you on the show. He want guys. It's all about professionalism. He wants to put you on. He wants to listen to your stuff, but you gotta make him want to. Because again, what's gonna separate you from the pile of CDs? Professionalism. He does a showcase every Monday night at Coco's for all local artists, anybody. But you gotta come correct, man. You can't expect him to call you. He don't need to call you. He's got a flyers that people are calling him. How can they how can they get on the showcase? First of all, I do a showcase with my partner G Sharp and K, Animalist Productions. In Orlando Big State Kings, we do a showcase for artists every Monday night club, Coco. You get five minutes, we don't charge you a damn nickel. Not even a nickel to come in or to perform. All we ask is for you to bring at least ten people so when you on stage, you have a little crowd that show you support besides the people who are already there. Like I said, once again, it's for all artists. Hip-hop, reggae, reggaeton, R&B. I don't give a fuck you're a comedian, okay? Poet, whatever you do. You can dance, I don't give a fuck. To showcase the city every Monday night club, Coco. Okay, so Orlando Mixtape Kings, Amelissa Productions, that's how we do it every Monday night. Yeah, I got a problem, man. I'm on Twitter, and I'm reading a bunch of artists that are trying to come up, and hey, everybody learns. A lot of them are saying that DJs don't give them the time of day, DJs are cocky, this and that. But this man's throwing a Monday night showcase every week that he's more than willing to put you on if you, if you go about it the right way and call him. He's not charging for it. He's trying to put on, but how can he put you on if you think you're too big to go on one of these? Or you think, because your buzz is big on the west side, you don't need to step to his side. Like, that that's where I'm confused at. Like, why are DJs Hollywood? Can you can you break that down? Because Why are they Hollywood? Or yeah, why not? They, a lot of them are Hollywood to these artists, but there's a reason for it. A lot of you guys aren't stepping properly, but I'm going to let him explain why he would blow you off. Why, why would the only you way, way I blow you off, honestly, you come up to me and say you're the hottest nigga out here. Cause you're not. I'll be honest with you. You are not the hottest nigga out here. There's a whole bunch of them out here in New York, Miami. Where the fuck you want to go? Step to me correctly. Listen, I'm an artist. I'm trying to get put on. I'll give you my business call, my direct number, my direct email account, my Twitter shit, my Facebook, all that crazy stuff. I'll give you a direct contact to me. You want to speak to a secretary, to nobody, you speak to me directly. And I'll put you on the show. And like I said, without a fucking nickel, I won't charge you nothing. My partner G Sharp and K, they don't charge you a nickel. Like other clown motherfuckers out here be doing. Charge your niggas 250, 150 to get on this fucking stage. That's bullshit. I hear y'all, Mr. Kings, we rap for the people, for the streets. Okay, so he's not charging y'all to get on. Like I expect, 
I have all his contact information under this video, so there's no reason that you shouldn't be calling him up if you're an artist. You don't have to have a name yet. He's putting you on. Now, if your shit's whack, he ain't gonna tell you. The crowd's gonna tell you. If your shit's hot, you don't need to tell him. He'll tell you. But let him see it, let him hear it, step to him properly, because, look, at the end of the day, you could think CSR's cocky, you could think Junebug's cocky, you could think any DJ or anybody's cocky, but at the end of the day, look at yourself, and did you take the proper steps to where none of us are cocky and we really mess with you? It ain't always about money, but it's about approach. It's about relationships. Build a relationship with the man. Shake his hand a couple times. Show up to his slow nights. Just hang out. Then shoot him your music. You know what I'm saying? He, he's real. If you're real, you know you know what you already know what time it is. You ain't just gonna fuck with anybody any chick that walks up to you. But if she's cool, you see her out and about, you're more likely to approach her. Same thing with a DJ, same thing with him messing with an artist. Now, why aren't you downtown anymore? That, that, I'll be that's honest, what the reason why I'm not in downtown no more, I'll be honest with you. I did downtown for many years from back in the days, from Taboo to Firestone, Element, a lot of these clubs out here. The reason why I'm not downtown more, I actually stood to one project for about over a year and a half. I ran a business. You know what I'm saying? I'm not part of that business no more. I'm actually doing other shit right now. So right now, I'm starting in the South Orlando area right now, Killer Simi area. For my people out there, building that shit up because, like I said, it's not just Orlando Mixtape Kings, one king. There's other six other DJs right now. You might have heard of DJ Slick, he's Orlando Mixtape King. DJ Arsonist, Orlando Mixtape King. Swift Assassin, Orlando Mixtape King. DJ Emo, DJ Elite, all Orlando Mixtape Kings. DJ Mr. CEO, Orlando Mixtape Kings. And all these cats are actually in some club in downtown. Firestone, Limelight, Voyage. So I don't gotta be there in all those spots. I can help, you know, handle other business in my part of town and shit. And again, he's a DJ, a businessman, all that stuff. He's going where people are are, are are messing with him, are accepting him, and that are paying him. As far as clubs, he's not gonna come downtown just to say he's downtown. And that bread ain't right. Right. Downtown's not everything, man. It's all a bunch of nice little tall buildings right now. So, nigga, honestly, I'm from the streets. Believe it or not, from Point Sierra, you know what I'm saying? That's where I started, in Point Sierra. And Orlando Mixtape Kids, like I said, it's not just one company. We got other companies on, um, underneath it, the whole big brands. I got Animal, Animalistic Productions, you know what I'm saying? Right now, we just started Animalistic Kings, okay? Not for nothing, too. I'm the only nigga out here fucking with K Slade, okay? A street nigga, you know what I'm saying? I am a street sweeper right now, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas right now are still stuck in Orlando. I'm beyond Orlando, okay? And also see all Club King South. That's the other thing. If y'all ever been to one of his nights, I don't gotta tell you. If you haven't been to one of his nights, check it out. If it's whack, don't ever go back. But I guarantee you, it's whack. Let me know it's whack. I'll give you your money back. Yeah, that's a money back guarantee. What other promoter, DJ, anybody's gonna give you a money back guarantee? Because he's official. He's co-signed. Again. We never broke no bread, but we got a mutual respect for each other. It ain't always about bread, about but bread, you got to build relationships. Bread. Relationships. Um, you even got labels stepping to you. I mean, I mean, honestly, right now, labels, I deal heavy right now with Atlanta Records. Um, SRC, everybody don't know about SRC. That's under um, Universal and everything else. I deal with Universal heavy. I mean, Universal Republic, my man, Tone Capone. I'm fucking with Tone Capone real heavy right now. There's a lot of labels right now I'm fucking with right now. And trying to get artists that I know on my side right now. You know what I'm saying? For instance, right now, my nigga Jay Tebber, watch out for Jay Tebber, G5P. And also as a reggae artist, watch out for G Sharp. You know what I'm saying? Because G Sharp's on the on the on the low radar right now. Because I know about that shit. Matter of fact, go on YouTube. What's the name of the video again? For the money. For the money. YouTube for the money. I mean, there's that's really it, man. That's all we really gotta say. Um, he gave his shout outs. CSRpromo.com. You know, we're trying to give you guys an inside scoop on things straight from the DJ's mouth. You know what I'm saying? He's telling you how to get him a record. If you're watching this and you don't attempt to give him a record, like, stop doing this. You know what I'm saying? Real quick, I can't forget my name. My nigga Keno Sharp. He's doing this shit right now. We were heavy. My nigga Pop Off. Pop Off. Give me a call. This is um, CSR Promotions. CSRpromo.com. Hit me up, DJ Junebug. MySpace me, Twitter me. I got the little bling bling here, that much, you know what I'm saying? It's a little something something, you know what I'm saying? Nobody gave this shit to me. I bought my own shit. Uh. Okay, don't get fucked up. I bought my own shit. Don't worry about how I got it, when I got it, I bought my own shit. No one gave it to me. So get that shit correct. Respect Orlando, respect Casimir, yo. We're here for you, Orlando Mixtape Kings, Junebug, and I'm out.